Hello and welcome to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith here with Oliver Cox and Tom Alber. We are at the Holyoke High School and it is a beautiful night for the Western Mass. What class is it? C. Class C Field Hockey <laughs> Final. Ah. It's the Frontier Red Hawks against the Greenfield Green Wave. Um, these teams have faced three times before this season. Greenfield has beat the Red Hawks twice and uh, the Red Hawks beat them once, although it was the last time that they played, um, which was on October 14th, just 16 days ago. So um, it's also um, a repeat of last year's final. Is, is that what you said, Tom? Yeah. So uh, last year, these two teams faced in the Class C uh, Western Mass final, um, and the Red Hawks came out on top. And they've faced plenty of times in the finals uh, in the past. So, well, it's bound to be a good game. And uh, we'll have to see how the Red Hawks go up against this strong Green Wave team. Welcome to Robert Sports Complex for today's Western Mass Final between the Green Wave of Greenfield High School and the Red Hawks from Frontier High School. The, P the PVIAC would like to thank Pioneer Valley Financial for their support throughout our Western Mass tournaments in providing our championship trophies. Participating student athletes, coaches, and contest officials have worked diligently to prepare for today's competition. Please show your pre appreciation by demonstrating good sportsmanship and respect for all in attendance. Ensure that your behaviors reflect the values that should be identified with these student athletes. Assume responsibility for your behavior and the behavior of those around you. If you require assistance, please call upon an MIAA school or security official. Any verbal, written, or physical conduct related to race, gender, ethnicity, disability, sexual orientation, or religion shall not be tolerated and could subject the violator to ejection. It may result in penalties being assessed against your team. Our great nation has persevered through leadership and sacrifices of men and women who have served in, or are currently serving in our armed forces. We invite both veterans and current military personnel to please stand. We thank you for your service to our country. Now the lineups for both teams. First the reserves for our visiting team Greenfield High School. Number six, Lauren Kalinowski. Number 15, Christina Kostov. Number 14, Peyton Martin. Number 12, Ava Eggswear. And now for your starting lineup. Number eight, Kelly Barry. Number double zero, Ainsley Flynn. Number seven, Riley Thayer. Number one, Mackenzie Boswell. Number four, Henley Gilstrap. Number five, Gloria McDonald. Number 13, Ivy Ray. Number nine, Amelia Bouchard. Number three, Addison Harrington. Number 10, Layla Golston. Number 23, Grace Laurie. Greenfield's coached by Aaron Thayer and Kaylee Kaplis. Now for the reserves from Frontier High School. Number 23, Rowan Riley. Number five, Ashley Galinsky. Number 18, Nora Sloan. Number four, Rihanna Fahey. 
Number 15, Whitby Campbell. Number 11, Maddie Antes. Number 7, Elsa Brown. Number 3, Bella Orell. Number 29, Sadie Griffin. Number 32, Ivy Cloinger. Number 26, Maya Fosnott. Number 41, Rainer Luz. Number 88, Kyra Richards. And number double zero, Brooke Charest. Now your starters from Frontier. Number nine, Stella Helfen. Heflin, sorry. Number two, Kate Walker. Number one, Macy DeMaio. Number six, Ashley Taylor. Number 10, Madison McKemmy. Number 13, Harper Modesto. Number 16, Abby Grover. Number 22, Haley Kachowski. Kachowski. Number 21, Claire Kirkendall. And number 12, Delaney Freifield. Your officials for tonight, tonight's game, Ms. Laura McLean, Ms. Laura Greeno, Mr. Steve Marcel. Now will you all please stand, re remove your head here for the playing of our national anthem. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith here with Oliver Cox, Tom Albert, all the rest of the FCAT crew. In just a few moments, we're going to be starting the Western Mass Finals for field hockey in Class C. Yeah, it's in Class. I keep forgetting that's in Class C. But um, yeah, uh, we were saying before it's going to be an exciting game. These teams have played against each other uh, quite a bit in the past, and it's always been very uh, close and very exciting. So we're expecting that tonight as well. It looks like Greenfield is going to be starting off with the ball. That's uh, Boswell, who's in front of it right now. Oh. Ooh, brr. Am I right? <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. They're, they're all set up on the field. They're throwing a ball down now. Yeah, they're just waiting for the officials. They're waiting for the officials? Yeah. Why'd they give the goalie or that person? Who is I that person? I would assume the – yeah, it is the goalie. I'd the assume for the corners. Maybe. Um – what were the, oh, the, I don't remember what the corners were. The corner, it's, remember, it's like the equivalent of like a penalty kick mm. in soccer, yes, 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 yes. except a little more complicated. <laughs> we were just this briefed. This entire sport just seems like soccer, but a little more complicated. Yeah, it's like a, it's a combination of a lot of different sports at the same time. Um, and I don't know, pe people aren't going to like me saying that, but I'm trying to simplify for myself because I just learned about this, uh, a bunch of the rules for this sport on the bus right here. <laughs> So there's Boswell with the ball now around midfield. Pass goes a little bit behind her teammate and out of bounds. And we're working with the purple lines uh, for the field hockey game, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, yes. Although they are kind of hard to see, unfortunately, especially with the glare of the uh, stadium lights. But um, if that if that helps, if it, if it shows up better on the camera, I hope it shows up on the better, better on the camera that it, we can see it right now. But... Frontier gets the ball. That's oh, wow. Madison McKemmy who passes it forward. Antes. And Greenfield pushing it back. Pass forward. <coughs> Looking for someone they can't get there in time. And Frontier will start sending it the other way. Ashley Taylor on the far side passing it forward. Intercepted by the Green Wave. And now they're working it back to the other side of the field. Ooh. There's McKemmy again. Oh, her wow. pass is intercepted, and whistle's blown. Yeah. I yeah. A lot <laughs> of the time, 
just fair warning right now, we aren't going to be able to tell you exactly what uh, the call is a lot of the time because I don't think that they have set hand signals for a lot of it, and it's just kind of the refs shouting something or whatever. But there's a pass into the arc by McKemmy and a uh, whistle blown. It'll be Green Wave's ball. Um, what just happened? I'd have to assume that it was like an obstruction. I'm just going, I mean, it's for me, if you ask me, Oliver, I'm either going to say it was a foot or an obstruction because those are the two that I know <laughs> and I'm going to stick with that. There's n no other penalties exist, according to me. <coughs> yep, none. And I am not a professional rules analyst. That is not my job. My job is to make this interesting. Actually, that's my job. Your job is to do that's play That's true. Play. Actually, yeah, you're right about that. I'd, yeah. McKemmy. Oh. Putting up some good defense oh, there. Oh, look at that move there. Wow. Oh, something happened though, so. Yeah. I didn't actually hear the whistle that time. Neither did I, know. That is Bouchard sends it forward. Oh. Nice pass. Gilstrap oh. on the near side. Oh. Look at that move <laughs> against Zakowski. <laughs> wow. wow. And now Taylor taking it the other way for the Red Hawks on the far side of the field. Working up against the green Greenfield defense. Tries a centering pass and it's deflected. What happened there? I think that this game is kind of confusing. Yeah, they'll have um, I I want to say free kick because that's what you call it in soccer, but it's not that because they don't kick the ball. What what should we call it? There's definitely a technical term, but we don't know it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. A free hit? Yeah. Sure. Free hit. Free. Free. Yeah, free, free hit. hit. That yeah. Works, yeah. Free. Perfect. Perfect. I don't like it when they run over the white lines because then I lose track of the ball sometimes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Especially when they're in the middle on the right on their logo. No, definitely. Yeah, so most of one of the few things that bothers me about this field because it is such a nice field. It is, yeah. The H and the yellow circle for they're the soccer field even, are yeah. not <laughs> lined up, and that makes me a little upset. But. <laughs> I can't complain too much because it is just, it's it's pretty here, man. It's a pretty field. It's really pretty. And also, can I imagine I, like homecoming games. Oh, yeah, my like football God. Games, like the packed. Packed oh. stands. It's, oh, my God. It's got to be amazing. I hope we get to cover some more games out here because, I mean, yeah. it's, it wasn't that long of a drive for us, like half-hour drive. Yeah. That oh. pass is going to go out of bounds by McKemmy. And, um, Do you think they got like back problems from like having to like? Until Probably. I mean, you have to imagine it's. I mean, it's a similar thing with like hockey players, like ice hockey players. I mean, Ooh, right? On the move, yeah. Well, the difference is, I think ice hockey's players like they're, they're they can like they can stand up tall, would do you? Yeah. Kind of. I, I mean, they do mean. have to kind of like bend over. I to, get like, you. I get what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I mean, with them, it's like they're running and they gotta like stay down. And I feel like, yeah, I, 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 I get what you're saying. Like, and see that that's kind of that's a stoppage of play just because the ball was kind of shot up and it, I don't know, allowing people time to recuperate. I'm not exactly sure because it, see, there's a lot of rules that I don't know about the sport. And oh yeah, well that makes sense. Oh my God! That almost went that in. was that was kind of wow. close. That almost went in. Got some rowdy frontier fans. Yeah. Some of the soccer team members who are going to be playing tomorrow in West Springfield. Oh, so sad I can't make it to that. I'm pretty sure I can make it. I'm really excited for it. It's going to be a really uh, exciting game. I'm sure of it. Yeah. Um, but we. Like we shouldn't talk about that now. We can yeah. talk about that all we want tomorrow. Oh, you can. I'm not going to. Oh, yeah. Well, you, me and you can talk about it in school. Of course, of course. Ball sent back. That's Laney Feifeld. Nice shot forward. Oh. Oh. Almost finds its oh. way. And now I think that's McKemmy with it. Trying to pass it in, working around the defense. McKemmy working her way back out. I also, I mean...
hear Missy's voice. Yeah. Very powerful voice. It's very intimidating, too, I gotta say. Yes. Here's a pass up. Oh. DeMeo. Oh. Ball's taken away and sent forward for Green Wave. On the far side, that was Abby Grover fighting for it. I feel like I recognize that. Well, she's in her grade. Yeah, I think I rec I think if I got a look at her face, I wouldn't know who she was. Yeah, she's in my uh, AP World class, I think. Okay. Ball's going to go out of bounds. And um, I was talking to uh, Frontier's coach, Missy Mahar, on uh, the bus ride here about like you know some basic rules that I sh that we should know yeah. um and some strategy and I asked her if there was anything she was like particularly worried about with going up against uh this greenfield team and she said the main thing that she's worried about is their goalie Ainsley Flynn and she said I mean the strategy that she was talking about was like we need to draw her out of the goal and cause her to like move around a lot so that you can make some quick passes and get it in like the open spaces of the yeah. goal where you know she's farther away from since you've made her move and she said she's kind of uh gave me this sense of like that's really the main way that frontier is going to be able to score because so i believe she said ainsley doesn't make those kinds of mistakes <laughs> I think that's how she put it. And so... It's kind of intimidating. Yeah. It was very intimidating. I mean, especially from <laughs> my standpoint as someone who doesn't really watch a lot of field hockey and doesn't understand it all that much. You know, it's like, oh, she, does, she doesn't She does make those kind of mistakes. As in, like, oh, she doesn't a, let goals pass. go in. <laughs> I was, that was a long pass, too. Oh, Here's Taylor. Okay. Ashley Taylor on the okay. far side. Coming into the arc. Tries a centering oh. pass and is kind of... What? Deflected. Oh, That's going to be a corner. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So there we go. This is going to be our first corner of the game, and it's going to be in favor of the Red Hawks. And so now <laughs> I was trying to explain it before the game, and I couldn't do it very well. Let's see, I'll see how this works. They've got all – Greenfield has all their defenders behind midfield. Okay. And Wait, they have – They've a, also got a bunch They've of got a couple. Oh, they have okay. four defenders in goal that will be there sooner. So now Frontier has to pass it back into the arc. It's intercepted. Taylor's there. And, ooh, it looks like her hand got hit by the stick. But she gets the ball back, centers it. Here's an opportunity against Flynn, and it's out. Ball. I lost it. I could barely see it. There's so many bodies in the way. It's another corner? That's another corner. Yeah, on ooh. the other side now. So, yeah, there's four players that are in the goal with Flynn. And so that's, like, the only advantage that uh, oh, I get it. I Green get Wave it. has. Yeah. See, when you see it, it kind of makes sense. It's really hard to explain, though. So there's the pass. McKemmy, oh, 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 it's up in the air. And shot out. Is it, are they going to cut that ball? No, they aren't. I, they, that I think that's going to be another corner. That's another corner? This tends to happen. Uh, in the few field hockey games I've seen, this has happened a lot, where <laughs> you get a bunch of corners in a row and it's finally cleared out and then there's a long period where there aren't any corners or it immediately goes to a bunch of corners on the other side of the field. Here's the pass. Shot towards the goal. <laughs> Red Hawk score. Wow. I'm pretty sure that was Claire Kirkendall, although I have no trouble seeing the number. What a hit. Red Hawks go up early. <laughs> very energetic. Oh yeah, fans. We got a a big crowd. Today. Yeah, a very big crowd. I mean, there should be a big crowd. It's the Western Mass Finals, man. So, 10 minutes into the first quarter of the game, Red Hawks go up one nothing. Okay. All right. Oh, she wasn't in the circle. Oh, they didn't count about. it. Okay, okay. Oh, what? what? Oh, so I forgot about that. You got in the circle. You got to bring it back into the circle after it. That see, oh, that's one of the okay. little things I was talking to you about. No, I wasn't. Oh, what a oh, pass what a there! Cookie. Ashley Taylor sends it forward, looking for DeMeo, and they'll let it go out. That's the second time that we've seen uh, Flynn make that decision to let the ball go out, and the first time it almost, <laughs> almost went, went in. in yeah. Which, yeah. I should have brought some gloves. Yeah, I should have too. I mean, like, 
it's just you know, I should probably bring some gloves to the soccer game tomorrow. Actually, yeah. that's a good point. Pass forward. Red Hawks on the near side now. Working it back, and the ball is taken away. They're still fighting for it, though. That was Heflin there trying to push it up for the Red Hawks. Feifeld gets it back. The oh. ball is taken from her. Here's an oh. opportunity for Green Wave. One on three, and now there's a nice pass over to the oh. near side. She can't stay on top of the ball. Oh. Boswell working towards the arc. Centering pass is blocked by Akowski and whistle blown. What do we get? What is that? Oh, it's Green Wave. Okay. It's just a, it's going to be a free hit, I think. Yeah. So that gives them a little bit of time to set up. Ball sent into the arc and out of bounds okay. by oh, the Red Hawks. No, it's out of bounds. Not green Wave. I saw the I the dude point unless it he pointed like that way. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, as in it's there. So okay. Wait. So that's it. Oh, oh, I see what they're doing. So instead of like shooting it in from the line, they're taking it out to the 25. That's why it's oh, marked okay. like that. That makes sense. Okay. See, it, it's just a learning curve. You know, mm. we figure it out eventually. There's a foul, and the ball's turned over to the Red Hawks. Ball jumps over everyone's oh, stick, and it? that was out. Yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah. was out. They almost kept that in though. Yeah, it was a nice effort. <laughs> Ball sent forward, intercepted. That's Rowan Riley trying to get it forward for Heflin. And coming in is DeMeo. Ball's pushed away from her and whistles blown turnover. I just gotta like look and find where the ref is, see which way he's pointing, <laughs> yeah. and then, I, then I know. <laughs> I'm gonna be hesitating a lot with that. A bit of a check there is what it looked like from Kirkendall. Green wave on the far side. Taylor almost intercepts the ball, or excuse me, that was DeMeo. Now, are there like four periods in this game? Or yes, there? four quarters, 15 minutes, just like the NFL. And here's DeMeo, Macy DeMeo on the far side. She loses the ball for a moment and recovers. Oh. Makes a nice oh, move on okay. the defense. They'll catch up to her though and she passes it to Taylor. Can she keep with it? Oh, or no, it's not a turnover. Oh. They'll just move it back a little bit. Oh no, but it's a turnover. Cause is it? No, I think the, so the Red Hawks had the ball. I think it might have. You, you know what it probably was? It was probably dude, a foot. The dude pointed that way. It was probably a foot. Well, that way is Frontier's goal. So I think that might be how they're doing it. I don't know. I am. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, yeah. We'll figure it out. Just a minute left in the first quarter. Oh. Still scoreless, although we almost had that goal from Kirkendall. Here's Madison McKemmy trying to pass it up. Intercepted and sent down Green Wave's direction, and it'll be Frontier's ball after the whistle. Yeah, see, because he, then he pointed that way. <laughs> yeah. I'm so confused. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh. Long shot at the goal, and... Oh, that's where they let it go in because yeah. they're not in the circle. You have to be in the circle it. to make the goal. And maybe if the goalie touches it, then it makes it like yeah. a live thing. Mm -hmm. Look at us. Yeah. We're, we're just using Assuming. our... Big huge brains. smarts. Yes. We said like the same thing but like slightly different. Yeah. That's cool. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I would argue with that. You're kind of right. Our big, our big smarts. Our smarts. Yes. Big brain. Could have got big brain. There's the first quarter. That did not feel like 15 minutes. No, it didn't. It felt like it, by, it went by very fast. Um, the score is 0-0. Zero to zero. Um... I'm assuming it'll be a short break and we'll have a longer one at halftime, as is usual. But um, we almost had that goal from Claire Kirkendall, and we're, we're, we're learning pretty well, I'd say. Yeah. So we'll be back in just a few moments with the second quarter of the Class C Western Mass Final between Frontier and Greenfield. We're tied at zero. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith here with Oliver Cox, Tom Alber, all the rest of the FCAT crew. It's the start of the second quarter of the Class C Western Mass Finals. We're tied at zero. 
and Green Wave is going to start off with the ball again. They're going to try to send it forward, and it's intercepted by Heflin. Pass forward, that's DeMeo, I think. She'll work it back a little bit, and whistle's blown. Frontier comes up with the ball. Look at that pass, kind of rolls up a stick and out of bounds. I think it'll save Red Hawks ball, though. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. I, 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 this is so confusing. They're just, they just move it back. I don't know. It's the same thing with like a free kick. You got to get it at the right spot. Pass forward oh. into the arc. Heflin. Oh. oh, and she tried to pass it up to DeMeo. I think that might have just been like a whiff shot. Though. Yeah, maybe. And now here's Greenfield working the other way. Oh. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm just... <laughs> I'm trying. There's gonna, there's gonna be a lot of areas of just awkward silence where we're just trying to figure, figure out. out yeah, DeMeo trying to work it towards the goal. Whistle is blown, and it's Greenfield's ball. They move it out of the arc and send it forward. <laughs> McKemmy's almost there to intercept it, but Kowski will send it the other way for the Red Hawks. The defense is there for Green Wave, and they can't keep it in bounds. Okay, okay. Yeah. I got that. That that makes sense. I got that up here in my head. Pass forward. Look at that. Ashley Taylor. Oh, it's taken away from her. And now DeMeo's going to fight for it. That's, oh, 16. Grover. I know that. See, a lot of the, the other, every other time that I've announced field hockey, I've been right on the side. I've never been this far away from the action. Here's some action in the arc, and Green Wave's going to let it go out. It'll be Frontier's ball from the 25-yard line. Grover takes it forward, keeps the ball, and pass up to Mayo. She still has it. Takes a shot, and it's deflected. Ooh. I, it's so hard to tell what's <laughs> happening in there. There's so many people, and we're so far away. Look at that move. Green Wave still has it. Pass forward behind Feifeld. And now they're going to try and clear it. Oh, no, that wasn't five. That was Modesto, sorry. 13 and 12. Green Wave in the arc now. Nice pass on the baseline, and they'll hook it around to the goal, but it'll go wide. Just a missing point. <laughs> That's not the word. What? What? Missing. Misinterpreted. I don't know. I, yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not. I guess misinterpreted how close. Misjudged. They misjudged. Is that, that it? That would work. I don't know. Yeah. Green oh, wave putting oh. some more pressure on Richards. Whistles blown. Oh, corner? Yeah, that's a corner for Green Wave. First one for them tonight. We've seen, what, three, four for the Red Hawks in the first quarter? Yeah. And Green Wave didn't have any. So now at the start of the second quarter, well, I mean, that. look at the clock. What? That'll explain why the 15 minutes went by so fast. It's still going as they're setting up for the, okay. so yeah, so for the corner. Like soccer. Yeah, but they don't add any extra time. Yeah. Ball sent out of the arc. They're going to have to pass it back in. And there it is. Here's an opportunity for Green Wave on the baseline. And it's cleared out a little. Whistle's blown to the Red Hawks out of the ball. Yes, she looks upset. Yeah. She wants them getting more opportunities. That was another thing she was stressing. I asked her what her main strategy was going to be for this game. And she said, we just need to create opportunities in the arc and try and uh, just try and put the ball past Flynn as many times as we can because that's the way that we're going to be able to get a goal. Oh, oh and look at this. DeMeo, ball's behind oh. her a little bit. Oh. She stays with it, though. And that'll be a foot, I think, as who's number four? Eh. Gilstrap kind of fell down on top of it. Free hit for the Red Hawks. Right at the top of the arc, they'll send it back. Hukowski now sends it forward, deflected a little bit, and it's wide. Out of bounds. 
Good opportunity and a good setup for the Red Hawks, though. Go, Red Hawks! DeMeo intercepts a pass. That'll be a foot, I'm pretty sure, just by the look of it. Trying to pass it over to Taylor, I think. I, I can't see her number. She'll work her way back to the center, intercepted by Green Wave. Nice pass into the arc, deflected, and Green Wave comes up with it. And here's an opportunity, whistle is blown. <laughs> Very emotional. I don't, you know, I'm, I, <laughs> I'm enjoying it, but at the same time, I don't think that they understand what's going on <laughs> what any better than we do. No, no, they do not. I can guarantee you. I know, like most of them, they don't yeah. have a single thing about this sport. <laughs> Especially by <Ben> Karen. He's, <laughs> he's, he's just here for the fun. Yeah, I mean, I don't blame him. I don't, it's a yeah. good reason to come. Yeah. Pass forward for Greenfield. Thayer comes up with it, and she's kind of overwhelmed, but she comes up with the ball, centering pass right outside the arc. They'll get it into the arc now. Here's an opportunity for Green Wave, and it's wide right of the net, but it'll go into the soccer net right behind. They've got every goal for every sport you could play on here set up. <laughs> You got you got the field hockey goal, and then you have the soccer goal, and then you have the field goal posts and for football. And then I, and then you know, if you count it, these are the same goals they use for lacrosse. Are they? I don't know. I've never seen a game of lacrosse in my life, so I have no idea. Do we have a lacrosse team? No. Although we are having cheerleading this winter, apparently. I saw in an email. That uh, is it David Chanishgrin, I think is his name. Is that the name of the new AD, Tom? Do you have any idea? I I don't know. I don't know how to say his last name. Will we have a new athletics director? Yeah. What happened to Mr. Sear? He just uh, he decided that he wanted to do more as a PE teacher. It was too much for him or something like that. Okay. It's Did a fair enough point. Him? Here's the corner for Green Wave. They're in the arc. Shot blocked. Shot blocked again. You know what uh, the uh, coach is this boy? Mr. Sear? Yeah. I don't think so. He might help out with a few. But I really don't know. Red Hawks take it up the near side. That was McKemmy, and the ball's taken from her. Some nice movement with the ball, and it's sent out of bounds. Another corner for Green Wave. It's their third of the night and the third of this quarter as well. We're a little more than halfway through the second quarter and we have seven minutes left in the first half. We're still scoreless, which isn't surprising. This happens a lot. You usually don't get a lot of goals in field hockey, which makes it all more surprising that Frontier beat Mahar seven to nothing in the semifinals of this yeah. tournament. Oh, and it hits the post. Scramble for the ball in the arc. Green Wave can't quite come up with it. And it'll be a fourth corner. Wow. Greenfield giving themselves a lot of opportunities. A little cold? No, I was just double checking that the mic was up. <laughs> I've done that. Yeah, it is. I've done that too often. Too many times. Yeah. Here's the fourth corner for Green Wave. Pass out of the arc. And they'll turn it over on the whistle. That's Akowski, I'm pretty sure. Far side. Sent it forward to Taylor. Gets by her. Flynn lets it go by her and out of bounds. I don't even know how Hakowski got it out of there. I completely lost track of the ball. Yeah. Oh. Nice pass there for Green Wave. Thayer near side. Loses it for a moment against Hakowski. And now Hakowski will try and pass it up to Heflin. 
Is that Heflin? No, that's Riley. My fault. McKemmy takes the free hit. Moves it forward, and it's sent back the other way by Green Wave. Hops over the stick of Akowski, but she'll come up with it. Ooh. Whiffs the hit, and... Yeah, dangerous swing is what... It's like, you know, you miss the ball, and you stick goes all the way up. That smell Yeah, I was going to say, it's a beautiful view here, but the, uh, the smell is not the greatest. I don't know what it is. I can't really place it. It smells kind of smoky, but doesn't smell like a cookout. It kind of smells like something overheating almost. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. Here's Green Wave moving forward. Pass into the arc. And Taylor gets the ball for the Red Hawks, moving it out to the far side. Grover's there to help her out. Whistle is blown. I think it'll be a free hit, yeah. She'll move it out of the arc. Big pass back out to the 35. Now moves it back forward. In the near corner, down goes one of the defenders for the Red Hawks. And a nice play by McKemmy to get it out of bounds. <coughs> Yeah, and they'll take it out to the 25 Kay. as it went out of bounds. Oh, they took it out to the 30. No, that's the 25. Oh, that is the 25. I read the numbers wrong. <laughs> Some nice pressure there from Nora Sloan, and the ball is out of bounds again. It'll be Frontier's ball. 2.45 left in the first half. Stella Heflin coming in for the Red Hawks on the near side. And there's Taylor on the far side. Moving against the Greenfield defense. She'll lose the ball and it goes out of bounds. But I think it's going to stay Frontier's ball. Yep. Abby Grover takes it. Moves it into play. Pass forward trying to get it to Taylor. They'll lose it. And Taylor comes up with the ball. Passes it into the arc. Oh. And here's an opportunity. <laughs> Yelling at the refs every chance they get. <laughs> Gotta love the energy though, you know? Yeah. Ball goes out again around midfield. I wonder how this ref is standing up like that. It's all studious, like. Yeah. You know that, like, guru? Yes! Oh my god, you're right. What does that mean? He's pointing two different directions. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't, Let's see. don't ask me, man. I've seen four games of field hockey in my life. This is my fourth. I'm not the guy you want to be having an ass this game. That's for sure. There's a lot of better people to do this than me. Greenfield passes it forward. And Modesto is going to try and clear it out. Grover racing for it for the Red Hawks. And she's up against Greenfield. Whistle is blown. Free hit. There's so many whistles. I know. That's what Delaney's been telling me. I asked her. I, I have Latin three with her. And I asked her because she's out on the field. She's number 12. And I asked her, Delaney, can you explain to me, like, some of the rules and, like, fundamentals about field hockey? She was like, Sometimes I don't really know what's going on and I because I don't see the signal from the ref and I don't know what's going on. And there's, there's so many whistles. That was something that she complained about a lot. Oh, corner, right? Yep, number five, I think, or six, five or six. We're also running low on time for the first half, under 30 seconds right now. Okay. I think corner number five for Greenfield, probably one of the last plays of the game. They're going to get it back into the arc. Shot, deflected a little bit, but saved by Richards. And that's probably going to end it for the first half as we have five seconds on the clock. 
Yeah, there you go. So, scoreless at the half. And no team is like clearly dominant, no. I'd say. The Red Hawks had a lot of really great opportunities, several corners in the first quarter, second quarter. It was the complete other way. Greenfield had five, six corners maybe. Um, and uh, a lot of pressure on Richards, but there was plenty of running back and forth, a lot of change of momentum. Um, but both teams being very aggressive is what I'm seeing. Yeah. No, yeah, I like that's a good way to put it. I like that. Frontier won the first quarter, and then Greenfield dominated the second quarter. And so. We'll have to see if another one team uh, breaks through in uh, the second half of the game. Do you have anything else you want to sum up? This is actually quite exciting. It is quite exciting. Two really good teams. I don't understand what's going on a lot of no, the time. But, but it's I can, still cool. It is very exciting. And, and when they do the cool moves around each other. Yeah, a lot of... Um, Skill moves. I want to say footwork, but that's not right. Skill moves. Stick work. Deeks. Okay. If this is, it's very it's impressive. <laughs> okay. <deep>. Okay. <laughs> it's very impressive. So we will be back in just a few moments with the second half of the Class C Western Mass final against the Frontier Red Hawks and the Greenfield Green Wave. We're still tied at zero. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith here with Oliver Cox, Tom Albert, all the rest of the FCAT crew. A cat just walked by us um, and we're having a great time. Uh, it is really cold though and the wind uh, has picked up a couple times here. So we're up a little bit high and so that's not the best for that. Uh, but meanwhile back on the field it's still a scoreless game uh, and we're coming into the second half of it. And so Macy DeMeo passes it back, and it's sent forward. I can't see my roster. Rowan Riley, why is the wind so hard? <laughs> oh, my God. Um, Greenfield has the ball now. I almost called it the puck. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Elia Kasky on the far side, taken away from her by Green Wave. Working it up towards the arc, turns the corner. Nice pass right in front of Richards. They got an opportunity and it's deflected, sent out of bounds on the baseline. Some great defense there. That was Abby Grover, I'm pretty sure. She's been strong all year on defense. Made a lot of really big plays for the Red Hawks. Yeah, I've not seen a single game, but yeah. For the games that I have seen, and I've, I've also I looked at a couple of you. Okay. I almost fell over. I was <laughs> tripping. <laughs> I gotta sit down. It's too cold. I can't function. I know. Here's another opportunity for Green Wave, and they send it wide left again. My toes are freezing. <sighs> Tell me about it. We got. We got to bring some hand warmers and like feet warmers next time. Yeah. That was Harrington. At, uh, yeah, Addison Harrington, who was on those last two shots for Greenfield. Kalinowski sends it forward. Will it stay in bounds? Yes, it will. Barely. Oh, wow. Look at that. Frontier trying to move it out of their end of the field. Taylor's there for the Red Hawks. And now Kirkendall sends it out. McKemmy trying to pass it forward to Heflin, and there it is. Heflin. Works back a little. And the pass is intercepted by a Green Wave defender. Can't get the pass off. Ashley Taylor's there. Taylor works it to the near side and can't get it past Greenfield, but it'll be out on Greenfield. Oh, I think that was a foot. Yeah, it yeah. was a foot. It well, it did, it did go out of bounds, but either way, they'll take it from that side. Whistle's blown. Greenfield has the ball. Every time I, I'm, I'm like tempted to say puck because it's field hockey, and that's what I keep thinking in my head. Grover sends it forward. 
Taylor hits it out of the air. That dangerous swinging or whatever? Maybe. I'm not sure. But either way, it'll be a free hit. Grover takes it for the Red Hawks. Pass forward, Taylor in the arc. And it's sent out of bounds. Green waves ball and the fans are upset. Upset. Oh no, it is Francis going, you're right. I'm just really confused about the direction that they're pointing. Yeah, I think they might be pointing at a player and then point, I don't know. Yeah, I don't really know. McKemmy has the ball, pass into the arc, and sent back out by Green Wave. Harrington, near side, up against Kirkendall. She's pushed back now, works back to the middle. And there's a centering pass. Middle of the field. Ball's taken away from her. I think that's McKemmy. No, that's, yeah, that is McKemmy, sorry. Fighting for it against Green Wave. Oh no, there it is, it's Kalinowski. Kalinowski sends the ball in, intercepted by Taylor. Oh, Ashley Taylor, what a move! Oh, and she can't keep it in bounds. Unfortunate. Oh, that, that was, was almost crazy. That was a great setup too. She had two other teammates farther down the field waiting for a pass. Whistle's blown right after the Red Hawks intercept the ball and it goes back to Greenfield. Pass forward. Intercepted. Heflin passes it forward. There's DeMeo. Macy DeMeo, far side, takes it into the arc. And it's kicked out by Flynn. Nice save. But Akowski will send it back forward. Red Hawks regrouping. Heflin on the far side, trying to get it into the arc. She swarmed, tries to pass it in. And it'll be Greenfield's ball. The pass is... I lost the ball. There it is. Modesto sends it forward. And Greenfield sends it right over to Abby Grover. She spins around and tries to get it up to Taylor. Whistle's blown. Greenfield's ball. Something I've noticed in the couple minutes we've seen of the second half is we're getting uh we're seeing some desperate passes from uh Greenfield and it's not working out for them. It's getting intercepted a lot. Grover putting up another nice show of defense. Ball goes out of bounds. Frontier's ball. Grover takes it up. Nice pass forward. Looking for DeMeo. There she is. It's taken from her, and that'll be, yeah, Frontier's ball. Harper Modesto. Pass intercepted and sent down the field. Feifeld. Okay, that was all about. I thought they called that in for a second. I was gonna be impressed. That was almost really good. Yeah. And so as we're getting closer, we have uh oh here we go. Macy DeMeo getting another opportunity for the Red Hawks. Trying to steal the ball back. It's a one on one right now. Her and Golson were going at it for a little bit, but now Grover in the corner. Not sure what the call is. I think it's Frontier's ball though. Yeah. So Grover's gonna take the free hit. Works to the outside. Another whistle. Taylor takes it now. Quick pass in. And a turnover for Green Wave. Nice movement there. DeMay almost steals it. There's a nice play. McKemmy passes it forward and out of bounds. I think she might have been looking for Heflin on the far side. Is it really? 
little chili. Just a little. Bit. No biggie. Yeah, I don't understand. I guess it's the the adrenaline, you know. Pass in by Grover and McKemmy. It'll go out. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Just judging on everyone's reaction, of course. That's the only. That's the only way I can call it, because I can't see the ball. Pass forward. Gets by McKemmy. Green wave with an opportunity. It'll get by Akowski as well and out of bounds. Frontier's ball. Frontier catches a bit of a break there. But uh, as we're closing in on uh, the last 20 minutes of regulation, um, we, sh we might want to start talking about the rules of a tiebreaker because that's what we're looking at right now. Same situation as uh, the Western Mass semifinal for uh, boys soccer that we covered a couple days ago. Um, it, it's yeah, I was talking to... Overtime, overtime, and the penalty. Yeah, two 10-minute overtimes where there's only seven players on the field. Only seven. Only seven. So like in hockey, you know, they, they usually have five skaters and then the, uh, the goalie. There's, um, I'm pretty sure it's ten, uh, like, runners on the field and then a goalie. And that's how they do it. And so 11 total, and then instead of 10 runners, they'll only put on six for the 10-minute overtime. They'll have one 10-minute overtime. If they're still tied after that, they'll have another one. And then they'll go to uh, penalty shootouts. Okay. Now, would their penalty shootouts be like corners? Or there's like no, I don't think so. Um, at that point, I mean, Missy sent me uh, some documents that I could look at, um, and I will look at if we get to that point, but I'm not going to bother myself with that until we have to. But that's the way that the game will shake out if we continue to look at a 0-0 score, which it kind of seems like we m might happen. Because yeah. we've, we've seen a, plenty of opportunities from both teams. Just both teams have some incredible goalies. Kyra Richards for the Red Hawks and Ainsley Flynn for Green Wave. Harrington up against Grover. Whistles blown. Red Hawks ball. Okay. I, I just really don't know. I don't know. I don't know. McDonald takes the ball. Glory McDonald. Pass to the far side. A little bit too far ahead of her teammate. But she'll get to it in time. Keep it in bounds. And pass it forward. Intercepted by the Red Hawks and sent forward. Macy DeMeo trying to get to it in time. She blocks the pass and comes up with the ball. Macy DeMeo taking her time, letting her team set up. There's Ashley Taylor on the near side in the corner now. Blocks the pass. Green Wave has the ball, trying to work their way out of it. DeMeo pass towards Taylor and it's too far out of bounds. We have yet to see a corner no. in the third quarter. Yeah, no, we have. have we? Have you seen a corner? Yeah, yeah. It's when we first started talking about... Um, <sighs> what was it? I don't remember. I think the last corner we saw was a Greenfield corner at the end of the second. No, second we've, corner. we've definitely seen another corner. I don't think so. Pretty sure. Kirkendall steals the ball. Pass up to Mayo. She can't quite get a handle on it. Nice move there. Trying to pass it forward and she will whistle. Yeah, Frontier's ball. Modesto takes it. Sends it forward, pass blocked. That was meant for DeMeo, I'm pretty sure. Hakowski fighting for it. Modesto now, can't get the pass off. Now Green Wave trying to move it the other way, but McKemmy is there. Far side of the field. Ball's jumping up in the air, and Madison McKemmy can keep track of it, apparently. Passes it forward. Hakowski. So it is. It of of I'm a little field. impressed with myself that I'm doing it. I, I, I don't know how. Now it's in the arc. 
Taylor, whistle's blown. I think so. Yep. So if not the first, then one of the first corners we've seen in the second half. Yeah, we haven't seen a lot either way. Um, it's been a pretty even game. Because uh, like Tom said, um, Frontier won the first quarter, Greenfield won the second. And now this is just kind of a pretty even draw at the third. I think it's going to end up coming down to the fourth quarter. But there's Hukowski at the top of the arc. Can't get her pass off, and it's cleared out. Green Wave might have an opportunity here if they can get the pass over to the far side. But Modesto, with a good defensive play, kills that opportunity. Green Wave sends it forward. Pass their forward. And now Frontier going the other way, trying to get it to DeMeo. She can't block the pass. Whistle's blown. Green Wave's ball. My head hurts, man. Sorry. It, I think it partially had to do with the uh, the music that was on the bus. Oh, and look at this. DeMeo steals the ball, backtracks a little bit. Nice move. I think uh, I think that was McKenney who she passed it back to. They'll lose the ball now, and it'll go out. Slow down there a little bit. Oh, no, it'll be a free hit taken by Modesto. Under a minute now, under 30 seconds actually, they're trying to hurry it up. 20 seconds. It's just, the time's really getting away from us. And oh, whoa, look at this. Seems like a corner. Yeah. So Frontier can take their time. Yeah. This will be the last play of the third quarter. So now, it's just an untimed play here. Here's the pass out of the arc. They'll move it in, send oh. towards the goal, and it's wide left. So that's the end of the third quarter. <sighs> Still 0-0. And I'll start reading the papers that Missy sent me about overtime. See if I can tell you guys a little bit more about it. Um, I mean, yeah, I think that it is really going to come down to the fourth quarter. I think if, if no one can really get an upper hand there, then I think we're definitely going to see I'd bet two overtimes, honestly. Maybe, yeah. Um, well, the way this game from going, we yeah. could possibly make it to shootouts. I really, yeah. I really wouldn't be, be surprised. So, at the end of three quarters, we're still tied. 0-0. Zero, zero. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back. Five, four, three, Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith here with Oliver Cox and Tom Albert. All the rest of the FCAC crew, it's still cold, it's still dark, and it's still zero to zero. And we're still here. It's the start of the fourth quarter. Red Ox are going to start with a ball. And um, I briefly looked over the rules for overtime, and it seems to be pretty much what I said before. Um, I didn't get a chance to look over the shootout rules, although we can look over that at the end of this if we still need to. Yes. This is the final 15 minutes of play for the Western Mass Finals, and it has been a very close and exciting game. Corner right off the bat in the first Here minute we go. for the Red Hawks. Wow. It all starts. Mm. Now who's going to be taking it? Haley Akowski. I might actually get incredibly hyped. For yeah. Sure. For two guys that just learned how the sport works, like an hour and a half ago at the most. <laughs> I'm enjoying this a lot. Yeah. It's fun. It is. Akowski sends it in, out of the arc. Oh and the boy. ball skips over her stick. Oh and there'll be another, wow. Well, see, that's what I was saying before, where you just suddenly get a bunch right in a row. Yeah. I hope that cat comes back. You've, you've already said this, yeah. Yeah, but I wanted, I wanted to say it, and I want everyone else to know it. You know? See, you're thinking about cold, and I'm thinking about a cat. 
Which is better? It's a cat. Mine. Uh, yeah. It's a cat. Anyway, there's a corner. Sent in out of the arc. Pass in. Here's an opportunity. She's got some time to take the shot, and it's intercepted. Almost cleared out. Kirkendall. And Green Wave will clear it out. They'll lose the ball for a moment and recover. Far side of the field now. Up against McKemmy. She's putting some nice pressure on him. Whistles blown. Green Wave's ball. <sighs> My goodness. <laughs> Frontier trying to push the ball back in the right direction. And here they go. They win the ball after a whistle. DeMeo pass up to McKemmy, far side. Or no, that's not McKemmy, I'm sorry. Galinsky, here's an opportunity stolen and out of bounds. I think that they'll, Frontier's gonna take the ball out from the 25 though, because it looked like it went out on Green Wave. Yeah. My head hurts. McKemmy will pass it back. After a little consideration, Akowski sends it to DeMeo. DeMeo works it into the arc. There she is with the ball still. Moves back a little, pass forward. Taylor's there, and it's sent out by Green Wave. Sent back in by the Red Hawks, and <laughs> Green Wave has it back. It's just back and forth. DeMeo, nice move. She's got a little bit of an opening. Oh, oh. Nice save by Flynn, and they score! <laughs> Red Hawks score! In the fourth quarter. <laughs> Just over 11 minutes <laughs> left in the game. Wow. Yes. Yes. Oh. Let me announce my game. <laughs> There's a stoppage on the field. Scoreboard still is I think that they're they need the scoreboard to be updated. I don't know. I I I don't I don't know. No idea. I guess so. I mean that's where they control it. So yeah, there you go. Greenfield trying to clear it out of their end. Grover spinning around, sends it over to Taylor. Taylor can't get the pass through, but she'll try again and get it to DeMeo. Macy DeMeo works it to the far side. Backtracks, goes the other direction, and the ball is taken from her. Frontier goal scored by number five, Ashley Gillis. So that was Galinsky who scored. It was really hard to tell in the crowd. I'm glad that they were able to tell us. Whistles blown. I think that's going to be Greenfield's ball. Yeah. Yeah. And now Greenfield really just has to, I mean, they've been kind of pinned down in their own end for most of this quarter so far. And now they're down one nothing. And I think the best they can really hope for at this point is force the overtime. Yeah. Um, Taylor. She got hit, looks like. Yeah, it looks like she got hit in the knee by the stick. Play continues. DeMeo sends it forward to Taylor. And they'll, yeah, they'll blow a whistle. I guess, I don't know if the refs just didn't notice that. Or they were just trying to let it play out a little bit. Um, so yeah, they're gonna take uh, injury time out on the field uh, and we'll take a break up here. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television.
Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith, here with Oliver Cox, Tom Albert. We have 9.53 left on the clock, and finally, we have a score. It's one to nothing, Frontier. Oof. We're just coming back from an injury timeout. Um, pretty sure that was Lauren Kalinowski who came off the field. Red Hawks on offense again. Macy DeMeo trying to push the ball forward. Whistles blown. Turnover. And uh, we wish the best to Kalinowski. Uh, if I did uh, read her number right, if it's someone else, uh, I'm sorry. And we wish the best to you. Um, Greenfield has the ball at the top of their arc for a free hit. And the wind is picking up. Oh, boy. Behind them had this wall. Yeah, that's a good idea. Ashley Taylor intercepts the ball, sends it forward to Mayo. Frontier being really aggressive. They're not letting up even though they're up. Modesto sends it forward and Heflin can't get to it in time. In time. I'm just really cold, okay? <laughs> Don't you growl and I snarl will. at me. I will. <laughs> Tom's feeling it too. Yep, we're all feeling it. And I wish I was. The other thing that we haven't talked about yet was uh, the pregame music. That was amazing. That was, good. I was one of the best soundtrack, like the playlists. I mean, that was one of the best playlists. Welcome to the jungle. Oh my God. Some Queen song. ACDC. It was good. That was good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Eight minutes left in the game. Oh, Abby Grover with another steal. Pass over to Taylor. Look at this. Oh, Grover. I thought she was going to take it back. Oh. That was good. Yeah. That was a nice pass, and too, and some reaction time yeah. for both of them. That's what I'm talking about with the still being aggressive even though you're up. That's what you need to do. Heflin takes the ball now. Works the other way. Pass up looking for DeMeo. DeMeo and Taylor. They'll lose the ball. That'll be a free hit. Modesto sends it over. McKemmy sends it in and is out. It moves so fast. It does. That's why I like. I want the challenge of doing an ice hockey game at some point. Yeah, because that was just quick passes. Those are quick passes. And the other thing is, I feel like it would be harder in that sense, but also a little easier than this because it's a black puck on white on a white rink. Yeah. You know? So why can't we do hockey games? It's a co-op with Greenfield, and I'm pretty sure that some Greenfield kid has like called Monopoly on it or something. That's what they told me last year anyways. But I don't really know. Check again this year, because I would love to do a hockey game. It would be a lot of fun, yeah. Yeah, there's going to be a timeout called, uh, I'd assume, by Greenfield. Oh, it is, it's my frontier. Well, we have 6.53 left in the game. Red Hawks are leading one nothing, and Missy Mar is trying to bring it home for the Red Hawks. We will be right back after this timeout. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith here with Oliver Cox, Tom Albert, all the rest of the FCAT crew. I'm so cold. It's one to nothing. We have seven minutes left in the fourth quarter. Frontier is up. Here's another opportunity for him, and it goes out of bounds, just escaping the stick of Ashley Galinsky, who scored the goal earlier. Or I should remember that number because of that. Yeah, you should. Hey. Stop that. Greenfield pushing it the other way. Nice deflection by Akowski, but it goes out of bounds. You've got that amount of twang on you. But it I'm goes out of bounds. Oh. Yeah. Uh, do I? I don't yeah. know. I'm just trying to stay oh. warm. Taylor fighting for it on the near side. She comes up with it. Keeps it in bounds. Barely. Oh, my God. Oh. Ashley Taylor. <laughs> oh, my God. Listen, what a move. And then a move, and then a move. Abby Grover will take the free hit. Send it forward. Loose ball. DeMeo and Heflin. 
Maybe no, no, no. no. It's just a free. Welcome to the jungle. No, I got that stuck in my head. Yeah. Ties back to Kirk and Dahl. Modesto. It's great for his ball. What happened there, Tom? I don't know. Oh, right. I'm sorry. My name's not. My name's not. Yeah. He's not listening. He, he's, he's, he's our he's resident. Like he's, our, he's our resident. Field hockey. He's our veteran. He's done this for longer than either of us have. I've been doing it longer since, since you were born. Yeah. <laughs> McKevy passes it forward. Galinsky, far side. Nice defense by Green Wave, and they'll send it forward, keeping in bounds. Oh. Nice move there to get past Zakowski. Oh. And again, I can't see the number, so I can't give her credit. Is that a three? It might have been. I don't know what happened there. Bro. I don't know either, but it's Greenfield's ball. Um, who's number three? Harrington. Pretty sure that was Harrington who's being all fancy over there. Nope, Harrington's on this side. I lied. Harrington trying to put some pressure on Kyra Richards. A little bit of a collision. Four minutes. Yeah, I did a bunch of cheering, and I thought that's what happened for a second. Um, Red Ox will get the ball back. Oh, deflection on the pass. Greenfield comes up with it. Pass forward. Work towards the goal. Harrington can't move it forward, and it's just a Frontier's ball again. Oh, no, it is a corner. You're right. Big opportunity for Green Wave. With three and a half on the clock, they're down by one. This is a g as good a chance as any that they're going to get in these last couple of minutes to stay in this game and force an overtime. Here's the pass in from Harrington. And they're back in the arc now. Shot on goal. Richards. There's a scramble. Richards gets another stop, and it's loose in front of the net. Oh my God. Frontier needs to clear. Oh, oh, oh. oh. That was wow. That was a little stressful. Richards with like three and a half something saves in that scramble. They're just trying to place the ball right. Timeout, I think. It's a timeout, yeah. Yeah. Not sure who got who's taking the timeout, although I wouldn't be surprised if it was. Greenfield, 2.46 left in the game. Green, uh, green Wave still down by one. We will be back in just a few moments. We're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith here with Oliver Cox, Tom Albert, all the rest of the FCAT crew. We are within the final three minutes of regulation for the Western Mass Class C Field Hockey Championship. And look at this move from Ashley Taylor. Giving the Red Hawks a little bit of breathing room. They'll still have the ball after it goes out of bounds. Abby Grover will take it. And the Red Hawks are up 1-0 right now. Ball jumps up and it'll be a turnover for Green Wave. Frontier's ball after the whistle. Tom going to move it back a little bit. Time ticking down. Greenfield moving it the other way. Kirkendall, Frontier's ball again. Pass forward, might be an opportunity here. Galinsky goes down. And I think that's McKemmy on the far side. Pass over to Heflin. Heflin weaving through traffic. Oh, and that'll be a free hit for the Red Hawks. I didn't even hear the whistle. 135. Left in regulation, and Red Hawks on offense again. Modesto shoots it forward. Ball's up in the air. Galinsky, and it's cleared out. Hakowski intercepts the pass. Trying to keep it in, and yeah. Green Wave has the ball, though. Far side. Pass forward, intercepted by Heflin. Greenfield with it now. 
in between two Red Hawks. McKemmy shoots it out. Final minute of play. Here we go. Frontier just has to hold it on for a while longer. Green Wave putting on some pressure though. Here they go on offense, moving forward. Modesto can't clear it out, deflected. Whistle's blown. Greenfield still has the ball. 35 seconds on the clock. They work it to the outside around DeMeo. Stop start, sends it into the arc. This could be an opportunity. Richards clears it out. Twenty seconds. Greenfield on their last legs. Here we go. Ten seconds. Pass forward, just outside the arc. They send it in. Cleared out. Here. Oh my God. Out of bounds. And that's it. the Western Mass Class C field hockey champions. They're so good at this. Oh yeah. What is that? I just what is that? The second second year in a row, Tom? No. Sec how many how many of our sports teams have won Western? This is the second one. Second one, yeah. second so one and tomorrow we'll have to see if the boys soccer can join them. I think if we can get three teams making Western Mass finals, that's I that mean, is that's, yeah. Yeah, now we're just down to the last one. Are any yeah. other teams in the West Wind Mass Finals? Uh, for Frontier? Yeah. No, no, they are not. So either way you look at it, two, two Western Mass uh, champions from Frontier and one West Western Mass finalist right now. Yeah. Maybe champion. We'll have to Maybe. see tomorrow. And when that video is posted, you should definitely watch it because it's going to be just as exciting as this, if not more exciting. Because oh. if any game is going to go to a shootout, it's going to be that game. Two amazing teams. Oh, yeah, it's without a doubt. Be crazy. So, uh, we had the only goal of the game, which ended up being the game winning goal, was scored in the third quarter, no, fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. About four minutes into the fourth quarter by Ashley Galinsky. Uh, it was a big scramble in front of the net. I couldn't even tell who scored it until they announced it. Um, but it, besides that, we had a scoreless game up until that point. Both uh, Ainsley Flynn and Kyra Richards, the two goalies that were on the field tonight, had amazing games, stopping everything that came their way except for that one time uh, when Galinsky scored. Um, but, I mean, you can really tell why these teams uh, were the number one, number two seed. Uh, in the tournament and why they keep meeting yeah. in the finals. Just a really phenomenal game uh, on a really chilly and windy night. But the Red Hawks come out on top. Final score, one last time, was one to zero. Ash Ashley Galinsky with that one goal. Frontier Red Hawks are the Western Mass Class C champions. I've been Mason Smith, Oliver Cox, Tom Albert, all the rest of the FCAT crew. Thank you all for watching us tonight.
drive safe on your way out tonight. Yeah, but usually I think it's like Hannah. Carl, speed up time. Come on. What do you want me to do?